to tell y'all what, I am tremendously grateful that God, the goddess, the universe, whatever huge entity is up there, eternally grateful to them for building me Ford Tough because some days for, if anyone else were to walk in my shoes, these people who consider themselves to be normal, which is absolutely appalling to know that there's a certain norm, which these people aren't even normal. At any rate, when you see your friends in pain and you're there for them, and then those same friends when you're in some sort of pain, criticize and turn their back on you and judge you. Personally, I immediately turn to God because that is my balance, that is my center. I'm telling y'all what, today has absolutely been one challenge directly after the next for me. And it is ridiculous. I wake up at 4.30 this morning. And honestly, I had woken up all night last night because my fan was off. My ceiling fan had been turned off. And I thought, you know, maybe I turned it off before I went to bed. Well, that was not the case. The case was as follows. A new girl moved into an apartment close to where I live. The electric company came over to my house and turned my electricity off for no fucking apparent reason whatsoever. These people are completely incompetent, apparently. This is not the first time that an issue like this has come about. The cable company consistently turns the cable off. I have literally been credited for almost four months or more of a cable bill due to the fact that the people who work for this, these companies are completely fucking incompetent. At any rate, I wake up at 4.30 this morning, and anyone who knows me knows that at it, that early in the morning, I wake up because that is what my job requires. Not to mention the fact that whenever I wake up that early in the morning, I have a certain routine that I go through. I get up. I use the restroom. I make coffee while I'm using the restroom. Just actually before I use the restroom, I make coffee. When I get up off of the toilet from peeing, I want my coffee made. That is not an outstanding request. After my coffee has been made, I come back into my bedroom and I get online. I look through my bank account and I try to determine how much money I have and if it's going to last. Seeing as how, for the most part of my life, I have lived paycheck to paycheck, which I despise. However, money is money, so that's not even an, a real issue. I'm grateful for the fact that I even get paid at all. And I actually have a job in this shitty economy. After which, having checked my bank account, I get online to see what my friends have to say on these networking sites. Facebook, my yearbook, whatever the case may be as far as that is concerned. I check my email. I'm currently trying to rent a room, so I have to see whether or not someone has contacted me. My point, my major point, is the fact that I wake up this morning with no fucking electricity. So, I'm freaking out. Not necessarily freaked out, but I'm not very happy of a camper. I flip 
all of the breakers off in my house. Because this is not the first time this has happened. I'm pretty immune to it by now. Then I go downstairs and try to find my electrical box. Okay, that in itself is a challenge. After I have found my electrical box, I flip the switches to reset the electricity, come back upstairs, and turn all the breakers back on up here. That was completely fucking pointless. At this point in time, I am enraged because I cannot complete my morning tasks. And my morning tasks are extremely important to me. They create balance for me throughout the day. I have to wake up knowing that there is some stability in my world. I call the electric company and that is to no avail. I am told that they will be here at 8 a.m. to determine what is going on with my electricity. So, me being the person that I am, I can honestly not sit home all day. Well, in the meantime, while I'm on the phone with these people, they actually, someone from another line at the company calls me, and I miss the call because I'm on the phone with some woman who wants to give me a hard time. At any rate, as soon as I hang up the phone with her, I call the number back only for it to redirect me in 50 different directions and have to go through a series of pressing one, two, three, four, five, six numbers in order to be contacted with someone else. I think the problem is resolved. It obviously is not. You have to jump through rings of fire in order to accomplish anything in this world these days. Whatever happened to making a telephone call when you have a problem and the problem being fucking resolved? This is ridiculous. I mean, seriously. What is with all this? Press 1 if you want to be connected to a customer service. That is not even an option anymore. Nobody wants to talk to you. Being connected to a customer service agent is... I want to snatch my fucking hair out of the top of my head. Seriously. This is ridiculous how things work these days. They will snatch your power off in your house on a whim. But it is like you have to wait around on them in order to get something accomplished. Which is absolutely just ridiculous. Absurd. I don't, I don't understand. At any rate, I call this number back that I had missed the call from. And actually, a more nice lady comes on the phone and is like, well, Miss Sigmund, we will have someone out there by 8 a.m. Okay. So I fully expect someone to be out here by 8 a.m. 8.15 rolls around. And they still have not shown up. So I call that number back again. 